Give me a <laughs> bank alert dance right there. Yes, <laughs> that was hey that was bank alert. Do nice. like uh, once it's past uh, the first day of the month. Only part. You people, the weekend after you've received your salary alert is always the sweetest. You feel like the richest person in the world. Then you become a little humble again the following week after everything has finished. <laughs> Fortunately, we can't go clubbing or partying, so that's one great way to save your money. Also, because you can't go anywhere, we're bringing the party to yeah. you. So get on your dancing shoes and let's party like it's 2020, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know that it's your home girl. It's your girlfriend next door. It's a jewel in the crown. Yeah, so my name is Honey Falls. I am the hostess with the mistress. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Never gets old, guys. All righty, my name is Faladele, guys. Welcome aboard. All right, so let's talk about what we have for you guys today on the show. We'll start the show with the entertainment news and then we'll take the celebrity birthday shout outs. And then, of course, we'll rewind to this day in entertainment history. Faladele will be your tweet view plug. And then later on, one of us will show some gratitude on just show it off segment. We'll do the news recap. And then on Daily to Five, we'll be talking about five overlooked places to clean in your house. Mm, I like that. All righty, we'll wrap up the show by taking your song requests via social media. So get on our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are TVC Connect with the hashtag eSplash on TVC to make your song requests known, okay? We'll be back after this break, guys. Don't go anywhere. We're about to turn up Friday style, 2020 COVID season style, okay? Stay tuned. Hey. Aquaba, right there. All right, guys. Aquaba, which means welcome in uh, a blue tree, which is a Ghanaian language. Yeah, you see? Teaching you some things right there. Okay. I'm sure you knew that, Sha. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> welcome back to the show. It is now time for entertainment news. And this one is so stressful. I've been reading about it, and it's just crazy. Let's get right into it. Police officers deny detaining the Banji's alleged rape accuser. The Nigerian police officers, who were listed as the culprits involved in the arrest of the Banji's rape accuser, Shaitan Babatayo, have come out to deny the claims. According to a police source, the band reported the defamation of character case to the Force Criminal Investigation D Division, that's the FCID, on three separate occasions to request for Shaitan's interrogation and statement to which she never showed up. Her alleged non-appearance, however, led to the prompt dispatch of officers to invite her for a written statement and interrogation on the alleged rape incident. The police source further insisted that there might be a mix-up by Shaitan's legal representative over claims of her detention by police operatives at Ikeja in Lagos for more than 24 hours, as she was only invited to give a written statement to back up her accusation. All right. So, hey, Honeypot, if you go on Twitter right now, feminist coven is trending because um, I'm sure you, you know the social activist Shegalink on Twitter and he spoke about it and told his side of the story that he had cause to interact with Shaito and this was what happened and all that. And amongst the many things he said, he talked about how her mom wants to settle out of court. Um, I think he touched on how he didn't understand that Shaitan was detained from what from his interaction with her. But one thing that I thought was very interesting that and everything to understand or that, that, that Shaitan wasn't detained. That mm. was that's basically the summary. Okay. And um, the the most important thing of everything I found that he said was that um, he thinks that people trying to pull Shaitan here and there to use her for their personal agenda, which is so interesting and you know that's where the feminist coven thing came from and it was like feminists have carried this thing and you know they're trying to then this lawyer and that lawyer everybody is trying to be her lawyer and he feels like people should just leave her to decide what she wants to do i think it's just so crazy and i i really hope that this thing doesn't get swept under the carpet that has been my hope from the beginning and i'm really really hoping that we continue to unravel this case and see what happens okay so when you started talking, I mean, I've been following this particular yeah. one, but lately, like uh, between yesterday and today, what's happening on Twitter, I do not even yeah. know. But while you were reading, the first thing that came to mind, because I know that so many people have been uh, being spokesperson for Sheita, yep. and I'm like, yep. okay. Yep. We all understand. I mean, that matter is there. I'm not even touching the matter yeah, yet. Yeah. So I'm just saying that we all know that when something is trending in Nigeria, people just jump on all of these things because they want clout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, they keep taking sides. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're even taking it blindly mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. because they just know that people will keep following the them attention will and they just want them, attention yeah, yeah. to them. Fine. And uh, well, uh, did you read uh, Shaitan's statement? Yep. Was it written there that she was detained? <sighs> So, only pots. Wait, wait, wait. 
finish your statement. Don't, okay. don't come to me. Don't, no, no, no. So, <laughs> yeah, because you see, this thing is very sensitive <laughs> and, no very, and, to and, and very and very fragile yeah. too. Like there are things that you. It's a rape matter. It's yeah, sensitive. And yeah. I'm saying that, well, it's either one person is, of course, there are two people in this, and one person is innocent, one person, but we don't even know. We wish God can just come down and tell us that this is the person who is, especially when uh, people don't have evidence or enough evidence when it comes to rape, like when the act is really, really what was going on or but something of that. In Shaijan's statement, and what has been, and what has she, she has stayed on all along mm -hmm. is that she was detained. And she went through a bad experience. Even when she spoke to um, Segalink, she mentioned that she had a bad experience with the police, that she wasn't treated fairly by the DPO. Hmm. So she has maintained all along all that along. she was detained. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we, are, we are just still keeping our fingers crossed yeah. and hoping that we just get to the end of this and it does not get swept under the carpet, as you have said. Yeah. And, well... Although hmm. this one, that the police that allegedly detained her are now coming out to say that didn't happen, that they only, that they tried to reach her and then when they couldn't was when they now took action, but that they didn't detain her. So that's, it's, it's now becoming he said, she said. And I really, really hope that, ah, okay. I'm just, I, I don't, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm stressed out by it as I believe we all are. I mean, social media is going crazy. In real life, we're all going crazy about it because we've seen, we know how these things happen when someone is in power versus someone who is in power versus someone who isn't. It's your word against theirs. The question then is, has Shaitan gone about this the right way from the beginning? You know, did she put things has in the bank to go on the about right way from exactly, the beginning? Exactly, because Shagalink also said that the bank, look, the truth will come out in its time. Don't use force on anything. Just you let it be. And so we're just waiting with bated breath. Okay, so we'll goes. wait. Uh, let's move on, guys. Uh, Chloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson are back together. Reality star Chloe Kardashian and our basketballer baby daddy Tristan Thompson seem to have rekindled their romance after spending the lockdown together with their daughter True. According to a source, Tristan is working hard to prove himself and he has been a great dad to the couple's two-year-old daughter True. This is coming after the estranged couple broke up last year over his cheating scandal with Chloe's sister Kylie Jenner's ex BFF Jordan Woods. Report states that Chloe, who is 36 years old, and Tristan, who is 29 years old, decided to rekindle their romance after Chloe's birthday over the weekend. Aside Tristan Thompson, attending the birthday celebration alongside Chloe's other family members, it went as far as posting a very suggestive and romantic birthday message to Chloe, which got social media buzzing. Alrighty, so, um... <laughs> so... This thing, I, it was very funny when I saw it because it kind of confirmed what, you know, it kind of confirmed the speculation. People had been saying that um, this one that you're quarantining together, are you sure that you're not back together and everything? And whatever your, what, whatever your decision is, like, enjoy, right? Um, I think people just decided to make it their business when the whole um, Jordan Woods situation happened mm -hmm. and were like, ah, hey, hey, um, Jordan Woods, you betrayed the family, did it? Um, Chloe, don't go back to him. He's a no good did it? And now you're quarantining together. So let me tell together. you something. So, you know how your bad people will say that when two people are in a relationship, mm -hmm. that's uh, <laughs> the middleman should step aside. Yes, because when they said to, <laughs> when they said to, and you know this thing about two people lovers. <laughs> It's always very, very dicey, and mm -hmm. so you don't go saying bad things about one person to the other person because there is a probability that they would come back. I mean, that's it, and they have a child together. Mm -hmm. So what are we talking about here? Um, I just hope that Chloe. I mean, when you when you say yes to someone who has cheated before, when you agree that to come back with them, no, no, a... not necessarily. To be honest, I don't necessarily believe that that always happens. Actually, um, I have interesting views about cheating, but I don't always believe that it will happen again. However, I do think that you need to be careful and protect your heart. Be prepared for the possibility that if it does happen again, people will come and drag your neck and oh. say, "Wow, shame on you, Chloe." <laughs> but it's your choice. It's your relationship. It's your life. If she feels happy with him, hey, why not, right? More so, I have seen on uh, social media where people were talking about exes coming together like <laughs> yeah how do you do that like no there are people that you can't even think of going back to mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. how how exactly she, she clearly can <laughs> she clearly can think of going I back mean, to in him. movies i've seen people divorce and then they got married again to this wait how do you mean why um, are you smiling I'm just saying that, what like a about? couple uh -huh. divorced uh -huh. in a movie, uh -huh. I'm saying, and then they married, and I'm like, they got married again. Like they remarried yes. themselves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm just wondering, yeah. like, what made them in the first place? 
go that way. As you said, relationship matter is complicated. It's complicated. We can't finish on, and you on see the reason thing. I don't even like to get myself. Into I know you all hate this. talking about. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. All right, guys, that's all we can take on entertainment news. Now let's get to celebrity birthday shout outs. Olivia Mann is 40 today. She is an American actress who began as a television host before becoming an actress. She is known for starring in the series The Newsroom and films such as Magic Mike and X-Men Apocalypse, amongst others. Yeah. Happy birthday to her. Happy birthday, Olivia Happy Mona. Birthday. She's so stunning. She's and so yeah, stunning. I, I like her cheeks very much. I like yes. this face. <laughs> She's very, very stunning and very talented as well. Very yeah. talented. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, I saw her in, I think, season 13 of Americans Got Talent. She was uh, a guest judge. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, she was. She was. Yeah. All right. Patrick Wilson is 47 today. <laughs> He is an American actor and singer. Aside his experience with Broadway musicals, he has appeared in films such as Watchmen, Insidious, and Aquaman. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Patrick, Patrick Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> he has a face that I can't forget. Like, I feel like he should only be doing comedy. His face sometimes it's just funny. Yeah, like, just yeah. Like, yeah. like, who is this? Yeah, I yeah. There are people who have that. There look. are people who have that. And sometimes I don't want to think about it. You know why I don't want to think about it? <laughs> because so, someday somebody got married to one person, and then uh, if somebody was saying that, Ah, his face alone makes me laugh, and I'm hey, not wondering gosh. how that person. Hey, the happy birthday, Patrick Wilson! No, happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom Cruise is 58 today. He is an American award-winning actor and producer and one of the highest paid actors in the world. He began acting in the early 1980s and has since starred in comedy, drama and action films, including A Few Good Men, Jerry Maguire, Mission, Impossible, Jack Reacher, amongst others. Man. Uh, happy birthday to Tom Cruise. I can't Cruise. believe Tom Cruise is pushing 60. I can't believe he's 58. Like, he's been around for so long, he's as you said, nice, so like, um, 1980s. And even being like as old as he is he's still doing stunts like he still did mission impossible i think it was was it last year or the year before and that's at like 56 as in just to still be that fit at that age fantastic and he's stuff. also known yeah. for dating older women and he's still going to do another one yes and he's a bad boy like and that. he's been married three times to, and all of them were actresses yes <laughs> like, and yeah we're not I, even going to talk about scientology i, I remember no, rebecca domane i remember sure yeah. who's actually 16 years older than yep. him <laughs> all right well happy birthday to him happy birthday to everybody celebrating today we love you we're sending you kisses i hope i did it well and the color today is yellow is it where's your black yellow black and yellow black where's your yellow is it yellow a good place wow we have to look for it right guys um <laughs> while we look for honey pot yellow the show continues <laughs> after this break so stay tuned <laughs> Okay, don't you just love our burner? Burner at the end of with the, the day. vibe. I mean, hey. yesterday was hey. Burner Boy's birthday, and we're it was. Do you like baby like us? Yeah, like us. Are we eccentric people? Yeah, yeah, but we are not crazy like <laughs> Burner. Are we crazy people? We are. I know that Fladile will say that. So maybe she's not in the same boat with me. Only was my crazy is not your crazy. Yeah. So your uh, crazy is Bonner's crazy. What? My own is learning work. Okay, that. my crazy is Bonner Boy is crazy <laughs> because I've heard people say Bonner Boy is eccentric and they use it for me. So it's, like, it's fine, it's fine, we are fine. It's time for rewind. They take a look at this. <laughs> Let's rewind. On this day in 1944, Double Indemnity, a film noir directed by Billy Wilder and starring Fred McMurray and Barbara Stanwyck, is released in Baltimore, Maryland. And finally, in 2007, still on this day, Just Go Started Loving You, a single, was released by James Otto. And that's it on Rewind. Alrighty, welcome back to the show, guys. It is time for Tweetville. Are you ready, honeypot? We are ready. All right, I like it, I like it. Good energy, we love to see it. All righty, let's begin. Ah. Okay, <laughs> so this is a picture of um, a girl leaning over her, I guess, boyfriend by a mountaintop, and the caption is, so who is Debbie? And this is 
<laughs> this is like, so who is Olayemi? <laughs> like, let me ask you this thing. Your answer can destroy your life right now or keep you alive. If you say the wrong thing, I can push you over the cliff. So who is Debbie that I saw on your phone now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know it didn't click at first, yeah. <laughs> So, oh, wow. uh, oh, so no. she, and she won't have said that people like you. They won't have said anything the whole day. We'll not get to this very spot at the top of the mountain. I'm like, yeah. So, um, on your phone yesterday, I saw a Debbie. Who is Debbie? <laughs> oh, she's my. <laughs> Wait, I'll answer when we get back down. <laughs> at, <laughs> at that point, because you know that this is very dicey. Nice. Some people, even when you say. Let me just not tell them what it is. Yeah. It is not telling them what it is That's that true. can even push you down. I'm people like that. I'm that kind of person. Like, I just want you just to be honest with me. Yes, same. Hey, at that point, you're like, God, will I die? Will I make it? Or will I not? <laughs> you will just commit your life into God's hands already. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess it's someone like OJ, who is a huge um, Rihanna fan. And he um, says, can someone please Photoshop Rihanna sitting next to me? Hi. And so he's on the couch and just wants her to be Photoshopped in. And well, someone like helped him. Hmm. And let's see what the person did on his, uh, for him, rather. And Dapsy replied, your wish is my command. So he put a picture of Rihanna on that couch. So he removed the guy completely. <laughs> Put Rihanna on the couch and then now wrote next to me. That next person is Rihanna. Wicked. That is wickedness. Wicked. If you can't help me, just move along. Don't break People my like heart. like OJ. Do you know that yesterday's show, OJ was giving shout outs to Rihanna like after like uh, they are Is she going to see you, like, you like, though? Like, is she going like, to watch like, it? No. <laughs> <laughs> is she going to know about you? People oh, like Don Jazzy, but I think Don Jazzy moved on. <laughs> he has moved on because he realized that <laughs> it's not working. Yeah, so maybe OJ also needs to realize. All right, next one. <laughs> Pre-K tweeted, if you just won $30 million and your mama left eye cost $29 million, what you gonna do? And then famous Phillips replied, ah, she has seen enough. Oh, my <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my. That is actually how to say it. Oh, my God, actually, like, nonsense, child. This, after, is, this is, I can't even use the actual phrase. After your mom <laughs> did everything, everything to make you who you are. And then, you know, say, hmm. Don't you think another money will come, like... Honeypot. Where will another $30 million come but from? But let me tell you something. There are some ah. things that are really, really can you. You have to think about ah, it. $30 million. Mommy, 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 wait. If I leave you with one eye and I give you half of this money or a quarter of this money, can we work out that agreement? Me, to I'll be give my mom you. You? I'll give my mom you. You give your mommy the $29 million? Ah, there are things that when I remember, I'll give my mommy. I don't care. That's cute. Oh, my gosh. Next. Next. <laughs> Why is everybody going emotional? And next, they're not even next. Next. <laughs> everybody is crying because of what he said. All right, so this is a picture of five people. Um, two of them, oh, sorry, four of them are couples. So that means mm. um, two, a couple, and then another couple. And then there's the fifth person is just sitting by herself. And someone captioned it, and she's sipping on juice. And someone captioned this picture. Where did you get my number? It's sipping juice. Wow, do you get it yet? Do you get it yet? Like, people that did not say, where did you get my number? They have been. <laughs> you know, you are so hung up on, where did you get my of number? Of course, of course. You, you, are there, you are going to be there forever. Sip and joys. Yes. I'm um, team, where did you get my number? I'm but telling that's you. That's just to like everyone that randomly pops up on my WhatsApp chat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think some things are rude, <laughs> but there are some things that, that I know that... In <laughs> like, like, you know that thing about <laughs> just ignore and enjoy life. You are there. You are asking questions up and down. They say you should stay happy and say, JJ. Yes, yeah, so stay happy and say, JJ, my All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a bomber cloud series, and um, it's a picture of a big, a really big spray bottle, mm -hmm. and someone is standing in front of it and just like having a shower underneath mm -hmm. it. And Beard um, Addict replied, or we yeah, replied this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when last bonds finally find your body spray where you hid it <gasps> they will bath in it wow <laughs> this is rude to so every last one out there don't mind them especially for like this. don't mind them <laughs> although I, I do used to bath in my sister perfume i i used to tiff it that year but I've, i have but my now own. you are grown yes thank, God I have for my God. Own. thank you so much <laughs> that's all we can take on sweet view stop trailing last bonds thank you very much guys that is we, it. we always say last bonds stop trailing last bonds so <laughs> I want to where did you get my number? Over again? <laughs> That's with you guys. Savage Tree is over for now. But the first half of the show is also <laughs> over. We'll be back at one for more of the show, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Otalenu <laughs> men. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the second half of the show. You already know what it is or what time it is. It's a chewy it off time, and today being the end of the week, it's all about a gratitude. Take your foot. I don't think I've ever shown gratitude on this show. Or I used to know in a long time. Yeah, you know I rarely do Fridays. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't even remember again. Exactly. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so uh, what am I thankful for? Oh my goodness, so many things. I'm trying not to do the whole go to church <laughs> briefly, but um, I'm, I'm thankful for a lot of things. But I'm thankful that it's July. It's our birth month. Yeah. So um, I'm looking for. There are already people, you know, showing love. What people are saying in Adi, in massive Adi, in premium Adi. Adi, Adi. Where did they even I don't like this, Adi. Is, is that address? But thank you. No, it's in advance, unfortunately. What, what, what the heck <laughs> is in Adi? <laughs> but I refuse to rant about Adi today. Yes, because it is good. I will we'll rant another day. another day. But I'm thankful for people who are already showing love, just to be surrounded by so many people mm. who um, care and show love. I mean, you won't have, your picture won't have spent like two minutes on Instagram, and all your people and your lovers and people in your life are like, ah, come on, give them. This is like, it's just so nice to be surrounded by love. And um, sometimes you get, so focused on day to day that we don't take time to really appreciate people in our lives. So I just wanted to um, show gratitude for the love that I'm surrounded by, and also the fact that yeah, it's another year of come, another year, three, another three six five days, and yeah, that's worth being thankful for. So that's so wonderful. Long. That's so wonderful, and because this this um, gratitude too is my gratitude. Please. Everybody should hold each our gratitude. Thanks. July is my month. It's not your gratitude day. It's oh, mine. I know that it's not my, but hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, moving on, guys. Thank you. <laughs> it's time for a quick quick call of the entertainment news. All right, we started with this one. Police officers deny detaining the band's alleged rape accuser. Chloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson are back together. They are. Yes. Yeah, so, so we'll be back after this break with today's Daily Tip 5. Stay here with us. <laughs> All righty, that was Davido with Fire, and he's had a pretty good year. I mean, Davido is featured on a song with Tiana Taylor right now, and yes. he also did the one with Khalid as well. Really I'm nice really, stuff. really yeah. happy for him. I know, right? Mm -hmm. All righty, guys, welcome back to the show. Now, it's the weekend, as we know, and in African homes, that's code for morning chores. <laughs> However, each time we get our brushes and napkins out to perform our weekend ritual cleaning, um, there are just some places that are all too easy to overlook. And in the long run, these places begin to gather dust, mold, and other unpleasant substances. So let's talk about five most overlooked places to clean in your house, because this is Daily Top 5! Five. Five, four, three, two, one, let go! Three. All right, number one on our list, bathroom decorations. Yes, from the cup you put your toothbrush in to the jars you put on your toilet top. Guys, you would be surprised how bacteria spreads around the bathroom. Give your soap dish, bathroom racks, and towel hangers a good antiseptic rub down when you're cleaning the bathroom today. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> but honestly, um, as you said, like, there's so many places that we can easily overlook. Like even where you hang your toothbrush mm -hmm. or um, the top surface of mm -hmm. the sink, mm -hmm. you assume that well, because you wash your hands there, really, yeah, it's so clean. It's but clean. yeah, but it's not. Oh, so that was what I did yesterday. I actually had to put uh, some bleach on the nice. hand wash basin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because, I mean, <laughs> I am that person who is very, very finicky and all that. Yes, I don't like, you are. I, I might not even sweep the living room or clean the living room or anything. Like, I'm just saying, but bathroom yeah. is very important. I I'm not saying that I don't, but yeah. I'm just saying I, that I, I bathroom, don't bathroom is highly bathroom. Yes, yes. <laughs> important yes. to me. That so, I'll take care of bathroom first before. <laughs> infections are real. Yes, very, very real. <laughs> so now the second one is throw pillows. Now, just get in here and pay rapid attention. Through, come Please. in. <laughs> it is too easy to forget to launder your throw pillow cover when washing your clothes. Over time, it gathers sweat and gets stained. So today's step five is to remind you to ensure you wash your covers every other week. Amen? Amen. Not free time. But no, really, though, this is so important. And we were talking about yeah. this even off camera, and you were saying how not even just... Um, the pillow covers, but the pillow themselves, yes. especially not when you're, when, not when the thing is 
inside your pillowcase is just FOMO because it will tear everywhere. <laughs> yes. But those ones that are sewn, that have yeah. um, a cloth sewn around them. Yes. Those, so we're talking about not just throw pillows here. We're talking about the pillows that you sleep with yeah. in your room that you put your heads on, you put your face, uh, you know, on because uh, we're talking about people having reactions, having yes. pimples. Having, yes. Sometimes people don't know. They have used every product. They don't know that it is those things like bacteria. The pillow itself. You know, is locked into all those things. So we have to be very, very careful and very neat. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, number three on our list, light switches and lamp holders. Light switches and candle holders have the tendency to collect bacteria from our hands and with the current situation we're facing with the pandemic, that isn't so good, okay? Make sure to wipe down your light switches from time to time, but also remember you're dealing with electricity, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. be careful, okay? Don't forget your fans while you're at it too. This fan one, can we just stay on this for a minute? Because you go to people's homes and look up. And the fan is, a fan that was supposed to be white has gone black. Even standing fan. Bruh. Yes. Oh my gosh. The one that and people like to stand like in front of. Or something. Yes. Have yes. All those black it's ones. gone so black. Ah, that thing. And that's one of the, sometimes when you're having a cold, you can think it's the weather or sometimes it, it might, might just be, be dust, dust from, yeah, there. from that. So be it's careful, true. guys. Wipe down surfaces. The light switch that you, you, ah, know, you have push to be very careful because, time, uh, yeah. uh, you know, I have experienced it before. Yeah. I think I was trying to wipe it. <laughs> Too clean. I was trying to wipe it. You see, when the thing oh. did me like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Almost flung you. So, yeah. Please be careful, please. Please, please put please, it off first please, before be you. So Even put it off. Even when you put it off, oh, I'm talking. Uh, they, say, uh, they say wear slippers, wear the right kind yes, of slippers, yes, and then put yes, it off yes, as well. Yes. So disconnect from the light source before mm -hmm. you clean it with mm -hmm. springs and ties up and down. Okay. And if you are in doubt, please do not even clean it at all. Leave it. We need your life. I mean, I'm talking about switches. <laughs> and well. Okay, now shower curtains. Oh my gosh, yes. you know that feeling of irritation when your shower curtain touches you while taking a bath yeah that can be easily avoided instead of living with the dirt just hand wash it mm -hmm. an extra tip in case your shower curtain is losing color mix a bit of detergent with a cup of baking soda soak your curtain in that solution and watch magic happen i love this and one and you will thank yeah. us later I, I really like this one because especially the one about mm. color because sometimes um the bathroom can be quite humid and doesn't get enough yeah. um, room to dry the curtain after you've showered so so sometimes it starts to change color by the tips as well. So mm -hmm. it goes brown or yeah, it has like yeah. splashes of brown. Yeah. So one thing you can do is mix baking soda, as you said, with your detergent and just soak it in for a while. Then okay. wash it and dry it out. All right. Mm -hmm. Stay clean, guys, please. OK, mm -hmm. please. It's important. All right. Final one on our list for today. Under appliances. It is impossible to avoid cleaning behind the refrigerator or under the couch forever, it can be easy to forget that small spaces under appliances can collect loads of dust, dirt, and even food. So pull your refrigerator out, sweep and mop beneath, and wipe down the walls behind um, the fridge with a damp rag and soap. Repeat this process for under your gas cooker as well, inside your gas cooker as well, couch, and other, any other appliance. This inside your gas cooker, the picture on the screen, so disgusting to look at, but it's so important, especially, so. It's harder when you've acquired the gas cooker from someone, but if you bought it new, make sure you don't wait till it gets to what you're seeing right now. Don't wait till it gets to that. That's mm -hmm. it's not fine. Some things are really, really irritating, and there are some times that, uh, you know, we just get carried away yeah. uh, with our daily routines. You're working, you're doing that, and then you're forgotten that mm -hmm. so there are things that need to be cleaned. Yeah, and especially when such things are black. We tend to forget, <laughs> when they're black in color, we tend oh, to yeah, forget yeah, yeah. that. Oh. Ah, black does not mean don't clean for life, all right? Thanks. Okay, I'm done. so we're talking about things in the house. Yeah. Can we add brats and black bra? On your Remember pot. this weekend to wash your black bra. <laughs> <laughs> so that it will not become tea. Okay, that's it on Daily Top 5. I mean, that's just it. We'll be back in a bit for the music <laughs> request segment. If you still haven't put Sorry. in your request online, hurry to our pages on Twitter and Facebook to do so. See you soon. <laughs> wow, you have to sneak it in. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time for us to sit back. Yes, we will chill while you guys do the work. Yes, we're going to put the music control in your hands. Which songs are you feeling at the moment that you would love us to play for you this afternoon? We want to know, okay? And we already have messages on Aww. Facebook and Twitter. So let's begin with um, the Facebook ones. Chigo Zirum Israel says, please play me Yeah Yeah Boyfriend by Zlatan. All right, we've got Precious Eburo who says, Jerusalem by Master Master KG. KG. <laughs> Adora Oji is a person after my my heart she says please play me you by omale okay if you're a girl right here says nobody by dj neptune featuring joe boy and mr easy now let's go on this break and of course i will be here enjoying your playlist yes <laughs>
Hey, bye bye to yeah, yeah, boyfriend. We are so enjoying your playlist. You can still be a part of this, and you know what to do. Just send us, uh, you know, tweets, send us messages via Facebook, via Twitter, and uh, we will just put you on this. You can tell us what song you'd like to watch this afternoon. Kylie Omokoro Waire here says, Hi, good afternoon. Please play me Reason With Me by Rude Boy. The editorial fellow Ataiwo says, Please play me Rema Lady. All righty, and so we have Fagbo Ayola who says, Like You by Tatiana. Nice, All right, nice, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty, on Twitter, we have at Evelyn Fredericks who says, Good day, Honeypot and Faladile. You both are always looking beautiful. Why, thank you, thank Evelyn. You. Please play me Intentions by Justin Bieber. Hey, jam, wow. jam, jam. I love the fact that people are going outside Nigeria this afternoon. Yes. We love, we love. All we right. like it. All right, guys. So let's go take these requests and we'll be back to continue. That video, yeah. <laughs> I remember right there with Lady. A lot of people thought Arike was the lady in that video for so long. Why? But I see, you know, she had the short wig going at some point. So maybe oh, that was why, yeah. Thought. Okay, because I I'd never. You didn't see that video. No. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, it is now time for us to leave the studio, yes, and leave you for the week, guys, we've tried, okay, Monday to Friday, you guys have been there, and of course, we've also been here for you. Thank you for watching, thank you for staying tuned, from my co-host over there, Honeypot, and of course, myself, Fola Dele. Have a lovely weekend, guys, and I leave you with my request for this week, Godwin by Corey Billy. Hey!